What's happening my curious bunch of health fanatics? Let's take a few minutes to check out the NRF2 pathway. Don't stress if you hear some terminology you don't understand because this aspect of human health is important for your anti-aging toolkit. NRF2 is what I would consider a longevity regulator, meaning that it regulates detoxing the body and keeping us healthy. This is why you want to make sure you understand how to upregulate this gene. NRF2 is instrumental in the phase two detoxification system, which is super important for onboarding fat soluble toxins and converting them into water soluble compounds for excretion. The phase two detoxification system also removes extremely reactive metabolites and other dangerous molecules from the body by neutralizing or inactivating them. Without NRF2 activation, the phase two detoxification system would not function at full capacity. So let's see what else NRF2 does, and then I'll show you how to upregulate this biological pathway. NRF2 slows down or decreases various forms of inflammation and oxidation occurring systemically in the body. And if you haven't seen my video on hormesis, I'll link to that at the end of this one. But NRF2 is activated when the body reaches a certain level of oxidation. For example, the oxidative stress from exercise activates NRF2 which of course is another reason why exercise is so important. Normal NRF2 activation can assist in aging, autoimmunity, arthritis, depression, kidney and liver dysfunction, neurodegeneration, drug exposure, exercise and microbiomic dysfunction, including skin disorders and vision. But NRF2 overactivation, which basically means turning it on too much, may aggravate symptoms for atherosclerosis, chronic inflammatory response syndrome, heart transplant, hepatitis C and nephritis. NRF2 is a protector and when it senses various toxins, it can switch on to prevent damage to tissues. For example, cigarette smoke can turn on NRF2 in the lungs to protect the lungs from the dangerous chemicals found in that smoke. Please do not smoke to upregulate NRF2, that would be extremely misguided. And even allergens, viruses and bacteria entering the lungs can initiate NRF2 activation to protect lung tissues from damage. Even brain and liver can be protected from excessive alcohol consumption, but again, don't drink excessive amounts thinking that this healthy approach, uh, that this is a healthy approach to upregulating NRF2 because it clearly isn't. So how do we upregulate this little transcription factor? Well, calicosin, which is found in astragalus, can activate NRF2. Piece atenol, a resveratrol analog, can also upregulate NRF2. And sulforaphane, which is converted from glucoraphanin, comes from broccoli and broccoli sprouts. And that's also a potent NRF2 activator. I use broccoli daily for this exact reason. And it is worth knowing that people that get sunburned easily may have low NRF2 levels. And this was shown in a 2017 study that NRF2 is able to protect collagen in relation to ultraviolet radiation. So eat your broccoli sprouts, especially if you live in a sunny country and want to maintain youthful looking skin. NRF2 also protects us from advanced glycation end products or ages, which come from cooked meats and fatty dairy foods and other processed foods. And NRF2 is also able to protect the body against high levels of heat related stress. I really could make a video for 30 minutes on the benefits of NRF2, but I'll finish up and say that NRF2 increases mitochondrial function, which means more energy for your cells, and this effect can be increased with cordyceps, CoQ10, including another substance called hispidulin. There are, of course, other ways to raise NRF2, such as calorie restriction, alpha-lipoic acid, mucuna, tribulus, and even ashwagandha are all great candidates. I'll let you dig into what else raises NRF2. Don't forget to check out my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, to learn more. I'll leave a link in the details below and consider supporting our research by becoming a patron so hardcore solutions to aging can arrive much faster. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.